So most of your trailers from the manufacturer for a long time now, decades actually, they put all the metal together, they do all the welding, they'll put caulking to hide their imperfections, and I'm talking Logan, Morgan, the whole gamut of trailer manufacturers. And no primer, no sealer, and they blow the paint right on raw steel. So naturally you don't want to use a pressure washer because it's not bonded it's just basically hanging there so by using a pressure washer you're going to peel it off in sheets not recommended unless you've got a couple of grand for a new paint job and then it have to be sandblasted down and done properly in order for it to last the only fix we've been able to come up with over the years a lot of years is a simple devices regular medium toothbrush this is called a blue stick you can get them at most of your um, paint supply stores they don't mar if you've got to pull caulking out or get any imperfections off it's made out of a polymer it can be resharpened reused until there's nothing left and the other thing is just a regular blue style sponge that you use in your kitchen great stuff it's not so abrasive that it's going to cut the paint or remove the paint all you're trying to do is get the stain off so what you do is it's a, a runner like this we call it hemorrhaging you can take regular Comet Ajax it could be the dollar store stuff it doesn't matter most all of it has bleach in it so you want to wet your sponge real good wring it out put a little of your uh, powder on there doesn't take a lot and then you're just gonna sit there and you're just gonna start rubbing circular motions are generally a better way to go you can always go back and take off more if need be because especially if your trailer's white they all do it there's nothing you're going to do about it because it's the raw metal rusting through the paint. So once you've got it cleaned off, go to a little bit and you take it and mop it off. There you go. Rust stain gone, hemorrhaging gone. Simple fix. The key to this is once you do get it clean, you're going to want to wait till it dries and then you're going to want to wax it. And we'll cover that in the next segment. We talked about the medium toothbrush. Dollar store stuff. Cheap, inexpensive, very effective. Keep you from pulling your hair out when you have to clean one of these or detail them out. So you wet your toothbrush a little bit. Put a little bit of Comet in there. It's better to get yourself a little cup. That way you're not wasting the Comet, even though it's relatively inexpensive. And you can get in these seams and in cracks and crevices where you can't normally reach with a sponge. And just scrub back and forth for a little while. You can always do more if necessary. Same thing here on the vertical. Get those scrubbed down. Make sure you got plenty of common on there. It's not going to hurt anything. You can use the same sponge. This is all prior to washing the trailer. What we use around here is just Dawn dishwashing liquid, concentrate, a little warm water, and this stuff to get it clean first. And then you can start again. It's gonna take two or three going arounds to get this thing done. It's a lot of trailer and a lot of work. But like I said, once you wax it, with the way we're gonna show you in a later segment, you'll see that it will last at least a year, if not longer, if you maintain it, or if you keep it in a clean, dry barn or someplace covered up where it's not going to regrow all the algae, moss, caribou food, lichen, those type of things.